Hey, what's up, guys? I have got two MVG Rewind collection editions to show you today. The first one is Went to Coldy Island on a Mission from God, Be Back by Five, which is a very long title and kind of unnecessary. And the second one is what I just got um, in the mail today, which is the um, Return of Swamp Thing, which is a movie I did not know existed until like a month ago. Um, but uh, I figured what the hell, I'll get it because it seemed cool. And uh, I did see the first uh, Swamp Thing film just a few months ago, for the first time ever, and it was really stupid, but I, whatever, <laughs> why the hell not? Um, this is weird, too, because this was released first, this one to Coney Island, but it says uh, number six. This was released just the other day, and it has released, and it says number five, so. I know that um, this was pushed back, but I did not realize it was pushed back to the behind, or it could become after this one, so that's weird. I don't know why that happened, but... In fact, I think the other one, too, um, Savannah Smiles, I think, is the name of the film. That was also pushed back to, like, late May or something, so. Um, if you're watching this after it's released, then I guess whatever, but um, I'm pretty sure that got pushed back, too. But um, I have these two to show you, so. How's about we cut them both open and take a look on the insides? Let's do this one first. This um, Coney Island one looks more like a... Well, this doesn't look like a comedy exactly. It does have John Cryer in it. Who? The only thing I've seen John Cryer in is um, uh, what's that stupid fucking show? Um, what the hell? Uh, Two and a Half Men. Is that what it is? I think that's him. I haven't actually even seen that shit really, but I know he's in it and it's whatever. But I guess he's in other shit too, which you know, of course he is, right? Whoa. And Swamp Thing. Um, like I said, there's the spines. The Swamp Thing one, it seems like it's a little off-center a little bit. I don't know why that is, but... Uh, the reason I even bought this, well, both of them, I guess, is because they were both about $20 at um, um, Diabolique DVD. And um, from reading the uh, on the Facebook page of MVD's... Uh, well, the guy, I think it's just one dude, Eric, I think his name is. He said that if you do want a slipcover, you should buy the first pressing because th there is no guarantees after the first pressing that there's going to be more slipcovers. So I thought, well, I guess I better buy it then. So they made me do it. But because uh, I do like this slipcover. Because I think, let me just take a look here. Yeah, hey, look at that. Without the slipcover, it just has a regular look to it. And you can't see if this fuck out of focus. What the hell? Um, it doesn't have the worn look, too, like a VHS. I guess they're the same images. Yeah. Stop unfocusing. A lot of special features here. One thing I dislike about the, um, the Rewind Collection is that their they're discs are very blank. And it's two discs, uh, Blu-ray and DVD, and this is a poster, of course. So I'm not going to fold that because you know what it looks like. I'll keep those pristine. And it looks like the background image is just the, the regular image. And it, it does actually look, as you can tell, it is not worn, as far as I can tell. It looks like it's just a regular cover without the special collector edition, all that kind of, like the rewind stuff, like an actual DVD case. Not DVD case, um, VHS case. That's cool. Take a look at the. Um, whoops! I actually didn't put the Blu-ray back. Hold on. I know what I'm doing. Excuse me, shit. Um, let's take a look. See here. After her mother's mysterious death, Abigail Arcane, Heather Lockbeer travels to the Florida swamps to confront her resurrected evil stepfather, Dr. Anton Arcane. He's evil? I thought he was the good guy. <laughs> okay, I don't remember what's going on. Um, in, a de in an attempt to stave off the effects of aging, Dr. Arcane, assisted by Dr. Lana Zarell, combines genes from various swamps, swamp animals and human beings, creating an army of monsters known as Unmen, when Abby arrives, Dr. Arcane is hell-bent on taking his own stepdaughter's life in the name of science. That isn't until she was rescued by Swamp Thing. 
and this must see sequel to the original cult classic and based on the award winning DC Comics uh, series. Wait a second. I thought Louis Jordan was this guy. I guess I was, in, I was making this game up. Oh, it's probably, yeah, Dick Durock. That's the actual guy. Sorry. Whoopsie. I think he's the same guy who played Swamp Thing in the first film. I think. I'm confused. Sorry, just ignore me if I'm wrong. Um, from the executive producers of Batman v Superman, which is funny to put on here, Benjamin Melnicker and Michael E. Uslan, and legendary cult film director Jim Wynorski, chopping mom out of this earth. The Return of Swamp Thing features an all-star cast that includes Heather Locklear, Louis Jordan, Sarah Douglas, uh, and Dick Durock. Returning as Swamp Thing. So it's got a brand new 2K uh, trail, uh, tra transfer. Sorry, it's a trailer. It's not the same thing. A brand new 2K high definition transfer. High definition Blu ray, standard Blu ray, and standard definition. Uh, uh, DVD presentations of the main feature. Original 2.0 and 5.10 studio. Oh, fuck, I can't fucking read. Sorry. Uh, stereo audio. New audio commentary from director Jim Wanowski, composer Chuck Serino, and editor Leslie Rosenthal. Commentary from director. New interview with director. New interview with editor. New interview with composer. New interview with Lightyear Entertainment. What's. Who's that? Well. Uh, oh, duh. New interview with Lightyear Entertainment executive Arnie Holland. Original theatrical trailer, new HD transfer from original 3 to 5 millimeter materials, six promotional TV clips, two TV spots, two Greenpeace public service announcements, 1989 promo reel, photo gallery, and collectible mini poster. Cool, cool. This is from 19... Well, I'm guessing 1989. Yeah. And it is region free. It has subtitles, I think. No, it doesn't? Maybe it doesn't. Sorry. Uh... I prefer if they did have subtitles. I don't really like it when they don't because I just like to have that option. But, uh, you know, no big deal. Uh, MVD Visual is the parent company, obviously. And MDB, M shit, MVD Rewind is the, um, obviously the label, the rewind or throwback collection. I do like these slip covers. Of course, I'm a sucker for them. Now, here is, um, went to Coney Island. Went to Coney Island on a mission from God, be back by five. That's such a, s a weird title. It's very tight. That is what she said. Oh, it's not reversible. That's kind of lame. And it's just a Blu-ray. Also kind of lame. Um, well, whatever. That was a poster, at least. That's kind of lame. It doesn't have a reversible cover. I think all the other ones did. I suppose this was the cheapest. This was $21, and I think all those were about $22 or, or, lar or, or larger, or uh, more. I think um, Swamp Thing was 24 I think the Rotten Tomatoes, not Rotten Tomatoes, the Killer Tomatoes was um, 26 or so. I'm not sure. I tried watching that the other day, and I just I wasn't really into it at the time, but uh, it was a fucked up movie. Uh very poorly done, I thought, anyway. But anyway, whatever. I'm not talking about that. Uh, let's take a look. See, as kids, Daniel, Stan, and Richie were, excuse me, burping and putting, were inseparable, the best of friends. As they grew up, they grew apart, and now Richie has gone missing, sending Daniel and Stan on a wintry trek to Coney Island to find their long-lost friend. The trip leads them on a wild journey to the famed amusement park in the off-season, where they encounter some of the strangest people this side of the Brooklyn Bridge. Along the way, Stan and Daniel realize they have demons of their own, and as they search for their friend, they discover revelations about themselves that will change their lives forever. Based on a true story, When to Coney Island is a hilarious and heart-rending tale featuring an all-star cast, which includes Emmy-winning John Cryer, Rick, Rick, is it Rick? Yeah, Rick Steer, uh, Rafael Baez, uh, Ion, Ion, is that an I? Ion Sky? Frank Whaley? Peter Gary? Dominic Chianese? That's awesome. Judy Reyes? And Tony winner Wilson Germain? Uh, what's that say? Heredia? Heredia. 
in this award-winning dramedy, dramedy from writer-director Richard Schenkman. Shit, I can't read. Writer-director Richard Schenkman. Or Venkman. That's not right. Anyway, let's read these shit. Uh, Blu-ray, main feature from a frame-by-frame digital restoration from original to the for the moments. Five for once around. New introduction from director and John Cryer. Audio commentary from director Richard Schenkman and John Cryer went to Coney Island to make a movie behind the scenes. Producer, com- comedy short film directed by Richard Shankman, photo gallery, trailer, and mini poster. Also, uh, region free. I think they're all region free. These also not have subtitles. 94 minutes, and of course, MDV visual. MDV, MVD. I can't say MVD. It's kind of a bummer that it doesn't have other features or not, it doesn't have reversible cover art. I guess I don't care about the DVD, that's not really a big deal to me, but, um, yeah, it says right there. I guess I could have seen that. It has the Blu-ray only, no DVD logo on the side. But, um, it sounded interesting. I did watch a a little clip that they posted on their website, and it looked interesting. So I think, what the hell? I'm, of course, collecting these now because I'm a fucking rube. Let's put these up here now. So I have six of the, well, I guess all the released six so far. I'll be getting the rest because, I, of course, I have to. I really do want to see that abominable film that comes out in a month or so. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you around for more shitty unboxings and all kinds of things. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.